I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, the U.S. steps up pressure on Israel to do more to protect civilians as the pause to release hostages ends and the Israeli offensive resumes. The bombing in Gaza is back as Israel continues its efforts to destroy Hamas. Despite Israeli leaders vowing to do all they can to keep civilians out of the crossfire, the Biden administration says they need to do more. Too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. As Israel defends itself, it matters how. The center of gravity is the civilian population. And if you drive them into the arms of the enemy, you replace a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. We'll have the latest on the conflict and the efforts to free the rest of the hostages. Plus, we'll talk with House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner about his concerns about our own ability to gather intelligence to prevent attacks here in the U.S. Plus, six weeks out from the first votes in the 2024 presidential contest, are the other contenders giving Trump a pass on his inflammatory attacks? Biden and his radical left allies like to pose as defenders of democracy. Joe Biden is the destroyer of American democracy. We'll talk to GOP candidate and former New Jersey governor Chris Christie. He says he's trying to hold Trump accountable. But is anyone listening? Even Former FDA head Dr. Scott Gottlieb is back to talk about the spike in respiratory illnesses among children. Finally, we say goodbye to three remarkable public servants. And Washington breathes a sigh of relief at the departure of one whose public service was anything but distinguished. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.